Welcome to Guns and Gear Network everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY ring pull igniter for your cheap smoke grenades. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to show you how to make a ring pull style uh, igniter for your cheaper um, smoke grenades, smoke bombs, whatever you want to call them. These come from the uh, local fireworks stand kind of thing. They're about two bucks. So I bought two packs, there's 12 here. It was buy one, get one free. So I got about a dollar fifty in each of these. So compare that to one of the... Um, uh, Enola Gaze or Sport Smokes and all that, those start at about 10 or $11 each, $6 up to all, all the way up to like $20. So they can be pretty pricey. These burn approximately two minutes. I just did a video uh, showing this version along with another one. And in that video, I mentioned about the other one having the string pull igniter, which is very convenient. So for you guys, whether you do airsoft, tactical training, maybe looking for an option for a tactical option for a cheaper smoke, something like this, I'm going to show you how to do it and create a um, pull ring or pull string type of igniter. So the convenience of this, obviously, is you don't have to have a lighter uh, and sitting there in the fight in the wind or anything like that. And if you're, again, using it in a tactical situation, whether it be milsim or airsoft even, uh, or a true tactical application, it's much easier just to pull and ignite it and throw it instead of sitting there trying to light it with a lighter. So some basic things you're going to need. Um, what these are, I've already cut these off. I've kind of cut everything up and got it all situated to make it a little faster on video. So you're going to go buy you some of these. Uh, these actually are the pull string poppers, party poppers that look kind of like a bottle, like a champagne bottle. Uh, they're, I just looked, uh, they're all over the internet. You can find them. Uh, you can even buy them if you have a party city near your town. Uh, they have them over there. They come, uh, I think, in a 10 or 12 pack. They're like five bucks. They also have, there's quite a few vendors, numerous vendors on eBay that sell these at a reasonable price. Um, so... In theory, I did a little math, and you're going to have uh, about 30 cent, 50 cent in this. Um, and what I've done is trim the neck off of it. Be careful when you trim the neck. You're going to empty the confetti out. It's going to have a little bottle in. Sorry, I don't have one. I've already trimmed these up, pre-trimmed them. Uh, and then you're going to see the neck. You'll understand when you get one if you're, not, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about right now. Once you buy them, you'll understand it. All right, so you're going to start with this. And I'm going to try doing this pretty quickly on camera, kind of show you how to do these, what I created in the intro of the video. This is exactly what you saw in the intro of the video. Uh, this is exactly how it's created. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this string out of this gold foil looking stuff and just throw that away. You won't need that. All right, so this is what you're going to be left with. Go ahead and either tie a couple knots in this end if you don't have these ring pulls and you're just going to use this portion tie you a loop in it, do something, because you're going to be manipulating this, pulling this string out to work on it, to work with it, and you don't want to pull this through that little t tiny hole right there. So you don't want to do that. So what I do is, first thing I do, grab my little ring pull, and I tie it on. So therefore, it can't pull back through. All right, so this portion is out of the way and done. Now I'm going to expose this piece here. So this right here is that igniter that when you pull it, it pops and it go in the confetti normally flies out. So you're going to need a drinking straw. Simple. I usually get ones that are pretty good quality, not the real thin ones. Um, so uh, you know, certain uh, convenience stores or certain fast food joints have stuff like this. A little thicker. I think these may have came from Burger King or something. 
You're going to need a little duct tape and you're going to need some electrical tape. You're going to need a straight edge and you're going to need a pair of scissors just to cut your tape and some stuff like that. Alright, so your smoke is going to have normally, um, even on these, let's see if they did it. Yep. So all of these fuses are taped down. Go ahead and cut that off. Pull your fuse all the way out. If you want to pull the tape off or just fold it down, uh, whatever works for you. I'm going to pull this one off this time just so it's not in my way where I'm going to access all this. Now, what I would do is this thing has already been naturally folded this way. So it's got a little memory to it in that angle. Just go ahead and leave it in that. Don't try folding it a different way. All right, so what you're going to do, first things first, is you're going to take a piece of tape. This right here is electrical tape. And lay it down there like that. Just like that. Then I take my, if you can get it off your fingers, that's the tricky part, is getting this thing off your fingers without it sticking to everything. All right, so then I'm going to take my fuse, and I'm going to lay it. If you got it like a little edge, it's easier to kind of work on where you can kind of hold this a little lower right there. All right, so I'm going to put it about right there on that piece of tape. See that? That's about where you want it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to split. And I'll show you all here in a minute. I know my hands are probably in the way. My son is helping me. Say, hey, guys. Hi, guys. Is my hand in the way a little bit, bud? Yeah. All right. I'll show you guys. Only thing I'm doing here is splitting this kind of down the middle. And it's probably hard to see on camera, but if you notice, there's powder. Can you see the powder kind of coming out? So I'm just trying to expose that. Now, one thing you can do, I didn't show it. Maybe I should have. Uh, you can go ahead and clip the end of this fuse. Let me do that. I'm going to pull that back just a little bit temporarily. Go ahead and cut this end of the fuse kind of at an angle, like that, and then still do the split. What we're doing is exposing that powder so it's easier to ignite is the only thing we're trying to do here. All right, next thing you're going to do, this is probably too long. I'm going to go ahead and trim it just a little. And this is based on experience me making these. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it through there like that. Then I'm going to take this straw and I'm going to push it. And I'll show you this, guys. My hands are probably in. The, I'm just going to push it inside of that blue piece. So it's going to look like that once you get done. Now this is still too long. I want this to where that string is out. So I'm going to pull this back off. I'm going to trim this again just a little. So there's two options. I, I want to tell you this real quick. So I don't have, maybe I do, yep. So like this straw here is bigger around. If you have these, it won't fit in here. So what you have to do is normally I trim this um, little slits around it and so it folds in on itself and then I tuck it inside the straw. Either way is fine, but these are more common. This is, uh, this is kind of one of those specialty straws. So I'm gonna check it again. Put this in here. I'm gonna tuck it in that pocket of that little piece, that neck of the from that bottle I trimmed off. Just like that. Yep. Now that's enough. So that's what you're trying to accomplish right there. So this right here is just outside that. All right, so then you're going to take this, and I'm going to lay it beside of that igniter. Or, I'm sorry, beside the uh, fuse. So that's what you're going to see. You see that good on camera? So if you look, guys, there's the fuse. There's even powder on there. There's the uh, igniter, the pull string portion right there. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to fold it over on itself kind of like that and then I'm going to fold this around and we're going to wrap it all up all right so that's what you come up with so now take this pull your string all the way down 
it then encloses that area. Only thing we're doing is protecting that striker. So that's what you're going to get like that. All right, so then I'm going to take this piece of tape, put right here. I'm going to start it over here, keeping everything nice and straight. Don't pull on that by accident. It will ignite this thing if you're not careful. So just make sure you're being careful of not pulling that. I'm going to wrap this tape all the way around like that. Now I'm going to show you one more step that is not necessary, but I do it. If you looked, all this is exposed now. If you want to protect that and not really make it waterproof, it will a little bit. Take your piece like this, put on top, flip it over, push down real good. And then I'm simply going to turn it around and I'm going to trim all that off. These are not hard, they're not overly expensive, just a little time consuming. Once you get the habit uh, or habit hang of it, um, it's actually pretty easy to do. It's not that big a deal. So you should be able to create one pretty quickly. The one that I showed uh, in that video, the first video I did about these type of um, things here, it, um, it actually had the... Um, It actually had the um, this piece here already built in. So I accidentally cut that a little short. So I'm going to go back here, put another piece of tape. So if you mess it up, I'm going to do it again. So pull that off. What you're trying to do is cover this little hole here. To protect that because the pull portion is uh, not really waterproof so you really don't want to get that wet so that's the only thing and you could actually put uh, even um, uh, hot glue and cover this whole top including that fuse and it would not make a difference because the igniter and stuff's already in place so once all that's in place it won't really matter uh, people, if you look at fireworks, if you ever you know, messed with them or looked at them, they use a lot of hot glue in their uh, manufacturing process. So it's not, it, it, I mean, they use it. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, matter of fact, the bird bangers and the 37 millimeter stuff that I use, it's got um, all kinds of uh, hot glue in it. So these uh, scissors get sticky on them, so it's harder to cut sometimes when that happens I need to when that happens just take some like WD-40 and clean that sticky off and it makes cutting the stuff a lot easier but we will try working with this what I got because I don't have any cleaner down here right now so well for the video purposes I'll just try making this work we're getting there I'm trying to be careful not to cut that spot again Getting close. All right. So now you have one ring pull style igniter, smoke grenade, smoke bomb, whatever you want to call them. So you can take this. Now, sometimes what you can do is take a piece of tape I don't care which tape you use you can even use like scotch tape and I'll take this and pull it up here like this and just tape it down so it doesn't get in the way and it's a little more secured now um, and then you just peel the tape when you actually want to use it it takes a little bit of pull if you watched in the intro of the video it takes a little bit of pulling down and force uh, don't pull at an angle or anything just grab hold of it and pull straight down is what you're trying to accomplish so, but anyway guys, there's you a DIY 
uh, pull string igniter. This can work on a lot of different things, uh, but in particular, you're, you can turn a $2 smoke into a kind of a cooler smoke. Um, so for you guys looking for a better option, for smoke grenades instead of the old school lighter type if you can't find the pull string type. Uh, part of what makes the pull string type so expensive, and I forgot to mention this in the earlier part of the video when we were discussing that, is let's say they're $6, $8 a piece, even $10 or $11 a piece, they usually charge a hazmat charge. So that can be as high as $45 for whatever box you order. If you order a box of six of them, they're $6 a piece, that's $60 plus another $45 for the hazmat charge creating them yourself and you're not going to do that because you can buy these uh, online just fyi i found these online for around that two dollar mark uh, you're going to pay about three dollars total because of shipping but i seen cheap uh, shipping as cheap as like six or eight bucks uh for some of this uh this type of smoke but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you found a better method to making a striker uh, type setup be sure to share that with us this right here has just seemed to be the best method i've tried the match heads and striker paper and stuff like that uh, this was the simplest and easiest without having to do a lot of building out of of other things so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below and as always like share and subscribe bring another video surely have a great day